it's part 86 of C Sharp tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss multi-threading in C Sharp. Before that, let's understand what is a process and a thread and then we'll write a simple multi-threading example. So, what is a process? Process is what the operating system uses to facilitate the execution of a program by providing the resources that are required. Each process has a unique process ID associated with it. You can view the process within which a program is being executed using Windows Task Manager. And to get to the Windows Task Manager, simply right click anywhere on the taskbar and then select this option Start Task Manager. So on my machine at the moment, Visual Studio program is already running. So obviously to run this Visual Studio program, you know, to facilitate this program execution, we need a process. So with which process is actually facilitating the execution of this Visual Studio program? It is devenv.exe. Look at that, that's the process name. And this, look at that, it says Microsoft Visual Studio 2010. Okay, so that's the process which is facilitating the execution of this Visual Studio program. Now let's say we run this calculator program. Obviously, another process is required, uh, you know, to facilitate the execution of this program. And what is that process? Calc.exe. Now, what do you think is going to happen when we click this button End Process? You know, we have a warning here, but then when we click the End Process button there, look at that, the program is terminated. Okay, because the process which facilitates the execution of that program has been ended. So as a result, the program also terminates. So then what is a thread? A thread can be considered as a lightweight process. A process has at least one thread, which is commonly called as main thread. And that is what is responsible for executing the application code. So when the program starts, you know, it gets by default one thread and that's called the main thread. And that is responsible for executing the application code. So a thread is inside a process executing the actual application code. And a process can have multiple threads. If the application that we are executing, you know, is a multi-threaded application, then obviously there are multiple threads executing that application code within a given single process. So a thread in simple terms is a lightweight process. And a process is what the operating system uses to facilitate the execution of a program by providing all the resources that are required. To develop a .NET program, we have to use threading classes that are present in system.threading namespace. Let's now write a simple multi-threaded example. Okay, so what we are going to do is design a form like this. Now, I have already created a Windows Forms application and all I have done so far is dragged and drop these buttons on the form and then change the text on them, you know, do time consuming work and print numbers. And then I have a list box here. Okay, so now what are we going to do? Now, in this method, look at this, do time consuming work. You know, let's say, for example, there is some method which is going to do, take a long time to execute. Maybe it's trying to save something to a database and it's going to take, let's say, maybe five or 10 seconds. So obviously that is time consuming stuff. And to keep things simple, you know, just to simulate that artificial latency, I have used this thread.sleep statement. I have passed 5,000 milliseconds, meaning the current thread that is executing the application code will be, you know, suspended for five seconds, basically. So it's going to sleep for five seconds. So this is going to simulate that artificial latency. And then look at this on, uh, when we click this button, do time consuming work. What are we doing here? You know, the first two lines of code are pretty straightforward. You know, we are basically disabling both of the buttons by setting their enabled property to false. And then we are invoking do time consuming work function. And then once that is complete, we are enabling the buttons back. Okay, so that's what is happening when we click that button, BTN time consuming work. Okay, now we have another button here, print numbers. And what is it doing? Uh, it simply loops through one to 10 and then adds those numbers to this list box here. Okay, so let's actually write that code. Now, this is not a multi-threaded program. You know, when obviously this program loads up, okay, into the memory, um, you know, we get one thread and that's called as the main thread. 
and people call that as UI thread as well that is user interface thread as well and that is what is responsible for executing the application code as well as you know um, taking the response from the users you know making these controls interactive okay so it has to do all the work basically that single thread so as a result what's going to happen when we click this two time consuming work button you know obviously these two lines here to disable the button uh, will execute much faster they're not going to take much time but then this method is going to take at least five seconds so at that point you know the UI thread that is the main thread is busy you know executing this function at that point the user interface is blocked we basically can't do anything okay why because you know the UI thread is busy doing uh, you know basically processing this method code okay so the application remains unresponsive once you know it completes that method that's when it's going to complete execute these two lines and at that point the application becomes responsive okay so let's actually write this code and to speed things up I have implemented the exact same code within this form1.cs file so let's go ahead and run the application so let's click this button do time consuming work look at that the buttons are disabled and they don't get enabled until you know that time is complete so now the buttons are enabled when I click this button look at that it works now print numbers because basically the UI is free uh, I mean the main thread is available and when we click that button um, it is responsive it's going to execute the click function but then when we click this button look at that it's it's basically disabled I can't do anything okay now you may be thinking okay you have explicitly disabled those buttons and that's why you are not able to click it now let's say if we comment these lines of code so all we have at the moment within this button click event is you know a call to this function so let's go ahead and run this once again look at that when I click this button you know now I'm clicking on the sprint numbers I've clicked almost 10 times now but look at that the response you know came only after you know it has completed executing this function okay during that point you know the application was basically unresponsive now let's see how to make this application more responsive by you know using another thread to call this function which is taking a long time okay and then see how the application becomes more responsive okay so let's uncomment these lines and then what we're going to do here is comment out this line we are not going to call that from the main thread instead what the main thread is going to do is create a thread and let's call this maybe worker thread give it any meaningful name and to this thread I'm going to pass in a function name so do time consuming work so what we basically want to do is we want this thread to go and execute this function so that the main thread which is executing this piece of code you know is freed after that okay and then the application remains responsive and you know all this is doing here is you're creating a thread you know it's not going to start executing that function until we call start method on the thread so once we invoke this function that's when this thread is going to execute the application code so remember what is a thread a thread is a lightweight process that is responsible for executing application code by default when we run the program we get one thread for free and that's called as main thread or UI thread that's responsible for executing the application code but then that main thread can create you know worker threads like this and offload the responsibility of executing you know time consuming functions so that the main thread becomes free and then the application is responsive at that time let's actually run this and say if it is responsive look at that do time consuming work and then immediately when I click print numbers it is still working and the buttons are not disabled okay immediately the buttons are enabled why is that because you know the 
job of executing this time consuming function is now offloaded to this worker thread right so in this video we have discussed you know one of the advantages of multi threading is that it can make your application more responsive you know by offloading the work of executing time consuming functions to a background thread but there are other advantages and there are disadvantages as well which we will discuss in our next video session that's it for today thank you for listening have a great day